Hey everybody, it's Cheap Comic Collector. Welcome, and this is episode number 323? 333. Holy cow. Getting up there quick. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for uh, uh, yeah, checking us out. And uh, today we are going through uh, box 10 of the 13 long boxes that I got from Comics Den a while back. Uh, taking us a while to get through these, <laughs> but we're finally in that home stretch. This is box number 10, and this is part two of, of that box. So uh, we're just going to, um, yeah, turn the camera around here like we always do and uh, get started. Hope everybody had a nice Mother's Day yesterday. Yeah, let's get that out of there. And let's see, starting off, we have classic X-Men. Let me zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Number 13. Nice uh, Art Adams cover there. Phoenix and uh, Fire Lord, I think his name is. Another classic X-Men, number 14. Another Art Adams cover. Number 15. Number 16. I guess these are all Art Adams covers. Number 17. Oh, we skipped one. Number 19. <laughs> and here's something else. Fantastic Four. Number 298. And Teen Titans, number 33, Who Killed Trident? It wasn't me. I've got an alibi. Uh, here we have Batman, number 33. Uh... This looks really worn, but I think it's supposed to look like that. I can't swear to it, but I don't know how it would look like that and still be all glossy up here. So I think it's supposed to look worn. Um, I'll have to check on the internet and see if the other, other copies look like that or not. Uh, Batman and Robin, 33. Action Comics number 45. It came from Krypton. Uh, this is another one of those Monsters of the Month variant covers. Pretty cool. Uh, another classic X-Men. There's number 7. And the DP7 Annual number 1. Justice Society of America Annual number 2. Amazing Spider-Man, number 19. Uh -huh. Sorry, the sticker didn't want to let go of my finger here. <laughs> and I don't want it to end up on a comic. So give me a second here. There it goes. Jeez. And here's another amazing Spider-Man. Number 21. With, uh, I don't know who those people are. Not up on my modern Spider-Man lore. Too many spiders. Alright, let me shift 
some comics around here there. Sorry there. Moving over in the box again. Hold on a second. There we go. Uh, some more Warlords. We got 98. 99, 100, 101, and Popeye number 28, Popeye Classic Comics from IDW, fun reads, and here we have a set of Phantom. Phantom number one from DC. Number two. Uh, number eight. Twelve. And thirteen. So, uh, not in any particular order, but I am going to slip that number one back into a bag just to protect it. And uh, classic X Men twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. Awesome comics in this box. Uh, Batman Superman number six. Action Comics number one. Look at that cover, man. Nice. Warlord 85. 86. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, and 97. So if you have any holes... Uh, in your Warlord collection, this might be a good chance for you to fill them in. Um, and in case anyone's watching who doesn't know, these are all for sale on Saturday. Uh, our $2 claim sale that we do on Saturdays. Um, you guys, you know, uh, get to claim what you want. It's $2 each. Uh, there includes shipping in the United States. And, uh, um, that's the way it is. And if you, if you don't want them, then I get to keep them. And that's cool because these are all the ones I picked out anyway. <laughs> uh, JSA number 23, The Return of Hawkman. Uh, number 44. Dazzler, number 36. Dazzler, number 37. These don't look to be that in that bad of shape either. Spawn, number 6. Spawn 16. It does not want to come off. Um, cool cover, but I don't know what this is. Red One, number one from 2016 Image Comic. Um, I don't know if you'd consider that a negative space. Uh, cover or not it's not 
quite, I don't think. Uh, Justice League America 7.1. Amazing Spider-Man 18. Uh, X-Men 25 with the Gambit uh, hologram. Let me see if I can... I can uh, show that off good enough for you to see it. Let me turn my light on on the camera. There, there we go. Nice. It's, uh, yeah, you can kind of see that better there. With the, he's throwing cards at you. And it's got a, got a some a little scratch right there on the hologram part. It looks like, but uh, and it's got a. I can see his spine tick indentation over here. So, um, whenever I see these holograms, I pick them up because I just think they're cool. But I'm not sure. I think I have all of them, but uh, you know, in case I don't and somebody doesn't want them, it's just you know they're they're just awesome. And then as long as we got the light on, this next one is. Uh, Batman 21, this is the lenticular cover, where it turns from Batman to the Flash. Yeah, cool. That's so awesome. You know, it doesn't work this well if you're just looking at it. But if you turn a light on like this and look at it through a camera, they are really cool. Very nice. All right, going to turn the light back off. And we got Amazing Spider-Man number three. And yeah, it's one of those tough stickers again. Doesn't want to come off. Uh, Spider Man number eight. Nice uh, McFarlane cover. New Mutants number 46. The X Men. New Mutants 41. Action Comics 600. Justice Society of America 80 page giant number one. Seven fateful tales of the JSA by today's top talent. Do you enter, do you dare enter the mansion of mystery? Not the house of mystery, the mansion of mystery. Is that because it's uh, Earth 2? No, they didn't have an Earth 2 anymore. I don't, I don't know. Who knows? They're all falling over in the box again. Hold on a second. There we go. All right. Avengers Spotlight. Number 23. The Vision Goes Hollywood. <laughs> and Avengers West Coast. Number 49. John Byrne. X Factor number eight, early X Factor. X Factor number nine, uh, the classic X Factor thirteen cover. X Factor fourteen. X Factor sixteen. Eighteen. 20, 21, 22, 27, 28, number 2, number 3, 4, Uncanny X Men 388. Hawkeye Limited Series number one. Green Lantern, the original series number 172 from 1984. X Men Legends number five by Peter David. Number four. 
by Louise and Walter Simonson. Simonson. Ooh, I don't know if I want to put those in there or not. <laughs> Starman number two. Starman number three. Starman number four. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number one. And number two. And number three. And number four. And again, this isn't a series I would normally pick up. Number five. But, I mean, it's all the first issues in a row. And, uh, you know, at the time I was getting them, I figured I was going to be paying about 30 cents. I ended up paying 19 cents a piece. Uh, Batman and the Shadow, number four from Dynamite. There's number six. Batman Eternal, 47. Batman Superman, 14. And another early X Factor, number nine. Um, I think we already had that one. So hold on. Let me. If I have two copies of that, I want to have them together in the sale. Yeah, there it is. That way, if somebody wants it, I can give them the best one. And if there's more than one person, I can. Yeah, they don't miss it. So. Uh, Action Comics, 671. Jughead's Jokes, number 52 from 1977. Archie's Joke Book, number 229. Archie's Joke Book, 214. Little Archie, number 100. Uh, this one's oddly printed. Um, I don't think there's a spine roll too much, but it's got... Like, this should have been, like, right on the edge, this this border. And instead, it's got an extra thing there. So, oh, this one's kind of like that, too, though. So, maybe not. Laugh 290. And Reggie's Wise Guy Jokes number 40. This one's really wrinkled. But this is the way it should look in the printing process. Uh, Weird Science Fantasy number 4. This is a reprint uh, that I think Gemstone did. They were reprinting all the EC comics. Uh, Batman's Grave, number three. Batman 115. And... <laughs> Trying to decide if I want to do some more or not. I think we're going to call it short today. Um, went through those pretty quick, but... Uh, there's too many there to finish the episode, and there's, if I do any more, there might not be enough for a third episode. So, want to cut it off there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. We'll do part three tomorrow, which will finish up the box, and, uh, have a good one. I'll see you soon.